So, Paul, we're down here with you today in... Well, where are we? <laughs> sunny South Devon. Sunny South, yeah, we're sunny South Devon, but we're, uh, are we kind of close to Plymouth down here? Yeah, we're about halfway between Exeter and Plymouth. Yeah. So, um, Totnes. Up some lovely winding roads. Yeah, Devon's <laughs> finest lanes. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, and today, I, I predominantly called out to see you working your new 435S on the Albert Buck rig. Yeah. yeah, obviously running a JCB loading shovel, um, which we bought back in, well, our first one we bought in 2017. Um, we've just changed it again this year um, for another 435. Um, Seem to be fairly happy with the last one. Um, we're just fairly happy to keep it in warranty. Um, yeah, it's obviously got a fair bit of work to do when it's needed to be working. So. Um, yeah, because you've gone, like you were saying, obviously you, you bought the first loader in 2017. What made you change from tractor and buck rate to the loading shuttle? Probably the main thing was a stiff neck <laughs> and a lot of bad headaches. Um, yeah, so we tried buck raking with it on the front of the tractor in small awkward pits. It was never quite man enough and front linkages aren't heavy duty enough. Um, you, you're lifting all the grass on your front wheels, which is your smallest wheels and what have you. So that's why we've, yeah, we've gone to made the decision to go down the loading shovel route and that same year that was the year that we decided to buy a second harvester as well we would have never kept that before with a tractor and buck crate with two harvesters so yeah we can fairly well keep up with two harvesters and one loading shovel now you've obviously you're we say it's a prototype but i know they're currently taking orders for it anyway yeah. you're you're testing out the um the albert fold and push off buck crate for the year yeah yeah no it's something that i've been looking Looking last year, trying to find a manufacturer to make one. Um, find it, we'd probably just complete the loading shovel, make it faster so you can spend more time rolling the pit. Um, yeah, the, the usual fork, folding foot, uh, folding 14 foot fork that we've already got, it's good, but it's just, it takes a bit more longer than it should do really. Whereas if you can just like run up across the pit, push it off, you can soon be back to push away another load. Um, and yeah, I have noticed significant time savings by having this one. You know, I've only had it 10 days so far, but yeah, it is certainly noticeable the difference of time that you can spend like rolling. That was the other thing as well. We didn't want to go to a fixed 12 foot um, so that we can, you know, fold it up easy to roll in against the walls. Um, and you haven't got 15 minutes at the end of the job put it on a trailer to take it to the next farm. So it's, yeah, what they've come up with so far has been pretty good um, yeah it's it is just quite simple got a control box in the cab that's working off a 12 volt supply you just got a switch to change from folding the wings out to the push off so it's it is literally a couple of second job just to change from one push off to um, folded up transport ready to go down the road sort of um, they have got some anti-collision sensors so that in theory you can't fold the wings up with the gate basically the gate's got to be right back in this position for the arms to fold up but yeah up to now it's been pretty good so and it is yeah it is fairly fail safe as well so if you've got no power you don't unfold the fork so it's it is quite simple they've made it compact close to the shovel um, so you haven't got too much leverage they've got the nice long heavy duty tines so you can take a decent load i mean we're running sort of 14 ton bailey trailers um, and you can clear most of a load in sort of two passes quite sensibly really um, if you get onto some dry grass you can you can push it away end on in like one load as well sort of so it's it is yeah it's got plenty of potential to uh, push the grass away fairly stress-free anyway so along this one here they've got balance involved for the stop the gate from twisting which that does work very well i've had like half loads of really green grass um, the gate doesn't seem to twist at all. That's pretty good. Yeah, there's quite a large selection of uh, grease nipples. Obviously quite a lot of moving parts. So it is quite, yeah, it's a good sort of 10, 15 minutes grease up every morning. But even with all those kind of moving parts, like the quality isn't, it hasn't been let go at all. No. You've still got the Albert quality there. Yeah. You've got the Hardox steel on it. Yeah, yeah, it's all like all the pins and bushes are sort of oversized, over spec. Um, yeah. It's, no, it is, it's a well-made fork. I think it weighs in about 2.2 tonnes, something like that. So, um, And the fact that it's made out of hard oxy as well does does mean it's sort of 
built to last really um, yeah and then obviously looking back then to the loader you had the tier 4 435s you've gone up now to the tier 5 yeah um differences do you find do you find it's really improved yeah it's um steering is a lot lot smoother a lot more comfortable to use um not sure if there is a difference the hydraulics seem to be a little bit more refined a little bit smoother um and probably the biggest difference is the is the engine the power and the torque of the the two different machines is is significantly noticeable there's a lot of pits normally with my old tier 4 engine or tier 4 shovel you were struggling like you were in gear one with torque lock up trying to go up over the face of the pit and it just didn't quite have enough power to go up into second um whereas this one here now is yeah most of the time you're going up over the pit in in second and then once you get up over the knoll you're then into torque lock up and it's away then and you have got a torque lock up in reverse on this tier 5 machine which the the old one didn't which if you get on quite a long pit um the one without lock up it was significantly slower reversing off the pit whereas this one here you can reverse off at a lot lower engine revs um yeah and it is it is a lot better machine yeah so you were saying to me obviously you're you're running two class 850s yeah yeah one of which is a is it a 496 yeah 496 850 and a 500 yeah. um series they're both the straight six yeah both straight six yeah uh obviously the, the 500 series is the new tier 5 engine um obviously specs spec for spec they're both meant to be the same machine but same thing again tier 5 engine a lot more torque more output we've had good support throughout from hamleys at honiton they'd be our local class dealer um yeah they they're always at the end of the phone whether we need spare parts or repair um breakdown yeah very very good service can't fault that and it was actually through hamleys that i came to getting hold of this albert fork um, tom our salesman uh, i was actually pricing up a 12 foot fixed push off um with with him for an old but um and yeah sort of just got speaking to him and so we'll perhaps just try speaking to to old but just to see if they have got any plans to make something along this sort of lines and it was just coincident we happened to ring them at the right week and yeah they were making plans to to make something yeah pretty much what i was sort of looking for something that was nice and neat on the road i think it's about nine foot six wide on the road so he's slightly narrower than the shovel um and yeah literally a flick of a switch and you fold out and away you go that's absolutely brilliant paul thanks a million for having us out i'm delighted i've got to see the um the fold and push off foot break in action anyway yeah and we'll uh, get a bit more of the foragers later yeah. on yeah yeah perfect okay thanks a million mm -hmm.